The story starts with an online match of b 2 where a team of red armored players are against a player in silver armor. The silver player is strategically ambushed by a red armored player and is blown up with a bomb, leading to the latter's victory. After the win, Ryota earns 4 stars, elevating his worldwide ranking from 11th to 10th. Ryota narrates that the weapons used in the game are only bombs. There are 8 varieties of these bombs, otherwise referred to as BIM, and the players in the game also have access to a sumar for detecting their enemies. The scene then shifts to a forest, where Ryota is attached to a parachute and is hanging from a tree branch. He breaks out of the parachute jacket and falls to the ground below, feeling confused as he cannot remember how he arrived at the forest. The place where he is it has no mobile coverage, and he cries out in horror once he sees an icy chip embedded on his left hand. Ryota then trods on his bag and picks it up, along with a white hip pouch, and makes his way out of the forest. After a tumble from escaping from insects, he finds himself on a beach. He shifts his focus to the white hip pouch and finds their BIM. He decides to leave the BIM and he is approached by a man who Ryota mistakes as a friendly person. The man throws a BIM at Ryota, and Ryota is thrown clear from the BIM explosion. As he gets up, Ryota deduces that he has to now play a real-life version of the game and grabs his white pouch containing the BIM as he escapes into the forest and arrives at a cliff edge. The man continues to pursue Ryota and throws BIM at him. Ryota begins to retaliate and throw his own BIM back at the man, failing twice as he is not aware that his BIM are timer BIM. As he is hiding in the bushes, Ryota is made aware that the icy chip acts as a radar so hiding is pointless. He also realizes that his BIM will only explode once the countdown on the BIM get to zero. After deliberation, the man decides to throw two cracker BIM simultaneously, as he is unable to deduce Ryota's location. However, before the man can throw his BIM, Ryota yells out and runs towards the cliff edge from his hiding place and jumps off. As Ryota is swimming away, he does a countdown, where it is then shown that Ryota had planted one of his timer BIM at the edge of the cliff before he jumped. As the countdown reaches zero, an explosion occurs, killing the man. He then spies the man's BIM pouches which have washed ashore and concludes that he must take them to continue in this real-life game. At the beach, Himiko finds bombs in her bag and she wonders if she has to kill people in order to escape. She finds some shade to rest for a moment. Suddenly, she is alarmed to see some men near her. Kondo asks her to join their group. Later, the guys eat some fish and Masashi comments that they may have to play the game to get off the island. Kondo replies that they should work together. Masashi tells Kondo to shut up and he grabs Himiko. Himiko stuns Masashi to get free. Mitsuo tries to calm them down by telling them to pick a leader and he drops his BIM bag. Everyone agrees and throws down their bags. When an airplane soars by, the group finds a briefcase where they eat the food. Kondo arrives and tells them to divide it in small portions to not waste food. From behind, Masashi slits Kondo's throat and his blood splatters over Himiko who is shocked. Mitsuo asks Himiko to leave with him. He urges her to take all the food in BIM. In the forest, Mitsuo and Himiko take a break. And then, Mitsuo accidentally does radar. He detects Masashi who is running after them. When Masashi tries to charge at Mitsuo, Mitsuo throws his BIM that destroys the foliage in the surroundings. On the run, Mitsuo urges Himiko to kill in order to survive. And when Mitsuo will not let go of Himiko's hands, Himiko punches Mitsuo. Mitsuo squeezes her until she stuns him with her taser. Mitsuo leaps and knocks Himiko and her taser on the ground. Himiko activates a timer BIM. Mitsuo quickly runs and Himiko throws the BIM at him whose body falls into the river. By the waterfall, Himiko thinks to herself that all men are her enemies. And then, Ryota meets her. Himiko looks at him in fear. As Himiko packs her bag and leaves, Ryota tries to chase after her into the forest where he uses his radar. Instead of finding Himiko, he finds Kiyoshi taking a dump in the bush. Kiyoshi gets startled by Ryota and begs him to let him go. When Kiyoshi mentions about a game, Ryota demands an explanation. Moments later by the river, Kiyoshi explains to Ryota about several men rounding a group of people on a cargo plane. On the screen, a man with a cap greets everyone, and he explains that the plane's destination is an island in the Pacific. The man tells him about the BIM, and when the others protest, the soldiers stun one man. After the man explains that the only way to get off the island is to collect eight IC chips, Ryota gets angry. Then, one of the men shocks Ryota. Later, the soldiers have the players strap on parachutes, and they force the players into jumping off the plane. 
With Kiyoshi's story done, Ryota starts to remember how he got on the island. He suspects that Tyranno's Japan's game developers are behind this ordeal, but he is not sure. Kiyoshi asks Ryota if he wants to work together with him. When Ryota asks Kiyoshi to show him his BIM exchange to work together, Kiyoshi declines. After thinking for a moment, Ryota accepts to work with Kiyoshi without any conditions. When the two view something, Ryota spots cargo falling from the planes. He goes off to find the goods, but a woman grabs it first. Suddenly, a mine BIM detonates near her. A mysterious man takes out the woman's IC chip and her belongings. Ryota points over to the parachuted goods in the forest and Kiyoshi tells him that they need to get the food. In the forest, Ryota instructs Kiyoshi how to use his radar, and the two stumbled upon a ghastly scene where they see a bloody body near a young man. Earlier, Soji finds Kara killing frogs. Soji explains to Kara that it's bad to kill living things for fun. Kara wonders why it's wrong when it isn't bothering anyone. Then the two spot an airplane passing by and dropping a briefcase. Moments later, Yashiasa, Kara, and Soji find the briefcase in the tree. Kara's father kicks him and takes his BIM. Kara slaps his BIM on his father's chest. Soji freaks out and calls Kara a freak before running off in fear. Then Ryota and Hiyoshi arrive on scene. When Ryota fails to talk Kara, Kara takes his father's BIM. Ryota and Kiyoshi make a run for it. Ryota confronts Kara to buy some time for Kiyoshi to escape. Both Ryota and Kara watch each other moves by using radar. Kara chases Ryota and jumps down the rocky hill. He almost gets hit by Ryota's timer BIM. Kara throws his implosion BIM. Ryota manages to avoid getting hit by it by throwing his bag at it. Kara gets hit by Ryota's timer BIM and cannot sense where Ryota is using his radar. He realizes that Ryota is canceling his radar with his own radar at the same time. Ryota gets behind Kara and tosses a cracker BIM at him. After Ryota ties Kara on a tree, Ryota also has taken his BIM bag and supplies case and left. Kiyoshi thanks Ryota for saving his life. They find Mitsuo's dead body drifting down the waterfall. Kiyoshi tells Ryota to leave him due to his broken leg. Ryota tells Kiyoshi that he will take a look past the waterfall while Kiyoshi hides. Once out of the forest, he finds Himiko standing on a cliff. Himiko throws a BIM at the forest and it unleashes a searing gas that melts a part of the forest. When Ryota runs out of the forest, he finds her standing in front of him. Ryota tries to talk his way out. However, she throws a BIM at Ryota as he is walking towards her. She screams out that all men are her enemies. Ryota tries to charge at Himiko and he dodges her taser. When Ryota falls down, he kicks Himiko so her taser hits her. As a result, Himiko stuns herself unconscious. Moments later, Himiko wakes up and finds herself being carried by Ryota. Himiko activates a timer BIM, but Ryota deactivates it. That night, Kiyoshi hands Himiko a hot bowl of ramen and assures her that they will not hurt her. Then Himiko explains that people they know had picked them to be on this island for doing something wrong. Ryota and Kiyoshi refuse to believe Himiko's answers, but she makes them remember of what they had done in the past that may have made others nominate them. Ryota realizes that his mother had chosen him to die. Then Kiyoshi and the group hear a rustling sound in the bushes and they suspect another player. However, nothing shows up on the radar. It turns out that there were Komodo dragons arriving near them. As the group walks slowly away in the water from the Komodo dragons, Ryota tells Kiyoshi to take Himiko to safety while he gets the BIM and supplies. Ryota jumps up in the air and slams the lizard with a huge rock. When Kiyoshi urges him to hurry, Ryota throws a cracker BIM that didn't explode. He realizes that only the owner can use them or the person who killed the owner. Kiyoshi gets bitten on the right leg and Ryota manages to drive away the lizards with a BIM. While walking, the lizards attack them again. Ryota loses sight of Kiyoshi as he tries desperately to find him via sonar. Ryota starts losing his mind and thinking the worst. Then, a lizard approaches Ryota, and a flying BIM hovers and detonates the lizard. Kiyoshi arrives, and Ryota realizes that their sonars may have cancelled out. With the sea breeze flowing by, the group find an abandoned building. Kiyoshi helps Ryota climb the ladder, but the ladder's piece breaks, causing them to fall on the ground. Kiyoshi tells Ryota to get Himiko up to a safe spot while he buys some time using his BIM. Ryota throws a BIM that unleashes a devastating gas that burns the foliage and the lizards. Ryota explains that he made Himiko press the button and that the sea breeze is spreading the gas. With dawn breaking, Himiko wakes up to see a bloody corner, and Ryota checks up on Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi starts to feel dizzy and collapses to the sharp pain on his right leg. Later that night, Ryota urges Himiko to help him pin Kiyoshi so they can treat him. Himiko reluctantly assists Ryota, then a sonar is detected and Himiko states they might have found her. When Himiko volunteers to leave the place, Ryota insists that he will draw their attention. As Ryota searches for the enemy in the forest, he gets attacked by Misashi. Suddenly, a timer BIM is thrown at Ryota from behind. 
Rayota jumps to dodge the explosion and Soichi is seen standing at the forest edge. As Rayota realizes that Masashi and Soichi are working together, Masashi knocks Rayota out. Soichi rummages through Rayota's BIM bag and remarks that Rayota is a murderer after seeing that Rayota's bag contains three BIM types. Shocking Soichi with a stun gun, Rayota makes his escape. Soichi tells Masashi to go after Rayota, but Masashi says that he intentionally let Rayota go, as he realizes Rayota has allies. Although Rayota takes the longest route back to the abandoned building, Masashi is still able to track him, as he was a former mercenary, and makes his appearance as Himiko is about to leave Rayota and Kiyoshi. As Masashi is about to stab Ryota, Kiyoshi jumps from behind and tries to grab him but Masashi dodges and slices off Kiyoshi's left hand's fingers. This elicits a cry of horror from Kiyoshi and as Ryota tries to attack Masashi with the stun gun, Masashi kicks Ryota off the ledge and presumably into the ocean. Making his way back to the ledge on the abandoned building, Ryota falls to his knees in despair after hearing from a bloodied and crying Kiyoshi that Masashi has taken Himiko. Seeing Himiko's cell phone wallpaper, Ryota makes the connection that the Himiko which was taken by Mistashi is also the Himiko he marry on the online game. From this Ryota gains newfound hope. At another abandoned building, Himiko is tied down to a bed. After provoking Masashi, he cuts her arm but is interrupted when both him and Sochi detect a radar signal. As Masashi hears an explosion, he does some thinking and jumps to the corridor with his knife, almost killing Sochi, thinking that Ryota will appear. Meanwhile, Ryota makes it to the room with Himiko and as he opens the door, a cracker BIM falls. However, Ryota notices and disables it. When Himiko sees Ryota, she sheds tears of joy. As Ryota unties Himiko, he asks her if she is the Himiko who he plays the game with, to which she denies. As the two escape, they are detected by Misashi. Misashi and Sochi split up. Throwing BIM after BIM at Ryota, which all miss, Sochi chases Ryota all the time assuming Ryota is unarmed. Before running into a doorway, Ryota throws the cracker BIM which hits and kills Sochi. Upon hearing a gasp, Ryota looks and sees Himiko being held at knife point by Masashi. Masashi throws a knife to the ground to lure out Ryota. However, Masashi ambushes Ryota and delivers a kick to his abdomen. Ryota is thrown backwards and Masashi runs up to him and delivers more blows. At that moment, Himiko jumps on Masashi but is immediately thrown off. Himiko yells out for Ryota to run and Masashi realizes Himiko activated a burning gas BIM before Masashi can throw it away from himself, the BIM explodes. Ryota spies an opening above and using the wall as a step, he reaches the opening and gets through. As he pulls Himiko up with him, a severely disfigured Masashi grabs onto Himiko. Ryota throws down a timer BIM, holding onto each other on the floor above. In an embrace, Ryota and Himiko brace themselves as the BIM explodes. Ryota stares at the three icy chips in his bloody hand. He grips his hands as he tries not to cry. Suddenly, Himiko wakes up to a ghastly woman looming over her face. Himiko shrieks and Ryota quickly checks his surroundings with his radar. With nothing coming up, he asks Himiko to check the bottom floor while he checks the top. When Himiko refuses, he notices a light from a window nearby. Ryota thinks he is in a booby trap when he sees a room that is occupied recently. From behind, a woman tries to strike Ryota with a sickle. With Ryota on the ground, he kicks and knocks out the woman. In the woman's room, the woman wakes up and starts kicking. She shouts at Ryota to get out and after Ryota leaves the room, the woman introduced as Shiki tells Himiko that she has no BIM. She also tells Himiko to not trust any men. Himiko replies that Ryota has saved her several times and she has known him earlier. Though Shiki explains her story to her to enforce her statement that everyone only cares for themselves. In her flashback, there is a doctor whom she respected got tangled up in a medical accident and she alters medical records for that man. In the end, the doctor blames Shiki and the hospital along with the public has shunned her. Later on, Shiki bumps into the same doctor who tells her to put their past behind in order to work together to survive. When the two collect the sixth chip, the doctor named Date strikes Shiki in the back. He uses his homing BIM to kill Shiki and Shiki blocks it with her BIM bag. Date picks up the chip and takes off into the helicopter. Later, Himiko explains all she knows to Ryota who formulates a plan to hijack the helicopter. Though Himiko does not tell Ryota about what happened with the sixth chip or her true identity. Afterwards, Shiki instructs Himiko and Ryota to take the mountain path to head back to the observatory point. Meanwhile, the same doctor is present at Ryota's hideout with a Kiyoshi whose hand has been bandaged. Back at the observatory point, Date explains to Kiyoshi that he is a doctor who took care of his injuries. After Kiyoshi thanks Date, Date wonders why he is back here on this island. Once Ryota and Himiko arrive, Ryota demands Date to explain himself. Date states that he just treated Kiyoshi's wounds since it's a doctor's duty to help save lives. Though, Ryota asks Date to show him his BIM in order for them to trust Date. 
Ryota finds out about the new BIM that can be detonated via remote control. He reveals to date that he has three chips which shocks both Himiko and Kiyoshi. Then an airplane passes by the island. Elsewhere on the island, Ryota and his group chase down the supplies and they sense a radar from nearby groups, a total of six combatants. As Ryota's group runs towards the parachuted briefcase, Ryota finds the same man with sunglasses chasing the same briefcase. The two attempt to jump after it only to fall over the slope. On the rebound, both of them throw cracker BIM at each other. Meanwhile, Hidemi and Emiko yell out for their comrades while noticing each other's presence. Hidemi attacks Emiko and manages to knock out Himiko with a kick. She drops a timer BIM on her chest, and an explosion occurs. Back at Ryota's location, Date grabs the trunk and Oda throws the blazing gas BIM. The briefcase falls down the slope where Ryota catches it. In the forest, Hidemi gets surprised by Himiko, who manages to stun Hidemi. Later, a flammable oil splashing flame BIM flies towards Ryota where it scorches the ground. Nearby, Kara tells Tamuki to keep attacking. With Ryota trapped in the fire, Oda leaps into the flames and kicks Ryota down. Oda quickly takes the briefcase and jumps into the sea. Back in the forest, Hidemi insults Himiko. And when Himiko attacks Hidemi, Hidemi manages to catch Himiko off guard and binds her from the back. Himiko manages to flip Hidemi and throws her off. Hidemi grabs her metal pole, but Himiko shocks Hidemi only to find the voltage dwindling. While Hidemi grabs Himiko's head and slams her to the ground repeatedly, a BIM is tossed at Himiko and Hidemi. Date is frustrated that Himiko is alive, and Date decides to play the nice guy, but Himiko realizes that Date was trying to kill her. On the beach, Ryota spots an old man on shore while concealing himself behind the rocks in the shallow area of the sea. The old man notices the briefcase, and when he picks it up, a BIM detonates below him, instantly killing him. Oda picks the IC chip from the deceased man, and Ryota comes out of his hiding spot. Ryota demands Oda to drop the goods, the BIM, and the chips. Ryota asks Oda to reveal his palms, and after Oda reveals his empty hands, Ryota carefully walks towards the goods. Oda bites on the buttons and detonates the BIM. Oda waves his hands to use his radar only to find Ryota still alive. Ryota tricked Oda by making it seem like he walked up to the goods. Oda sees from his left eye, so his depth perception is messed up. In the forest, Himiko hears an explosion and Date stops her from going. He tells her that a mistake can easily cost her life. At the beach, Oda asks Ryota if he's the Ryota he knows. After confirming it, he walks away and Ryota demands Oda to tell him how does he know his name. Then, Himiko and Date arrive to find Ryota. And as he cooks some curry gruel, Date is frustrated that he has to share his food with them. When Ryota thanks Date, Date mentions that they can get food tomorrow and Miko gets suspicious on how Date knows. Ryota believes Date's words which makes Himiko concerned. Moments later, Ryota feeds Kiyoshi curry, and Date feels Kiyoshi's pressure which is dwindling. Date informs Ryota that the Komodo dragon's venom is making Kiyoshi bleed. Himiko calls Ryota to speak with him in private. Outside, Himiko tells Ryota that they should get medicine at Murasaki's place, and Ryota states that they should bring Date. On the way, Himiko tells Ryota what has happened to her and believes Date is dangerous. Yet, Ryota thinks Himiko should trust Date, and Himiko is frustrated with how Ryota easily trusts people. In front of the medicine depot, Himiko decides to go to Murasaki by herself. Through the halls, Date looks around and finds old medicine. He pretends to put random bottles into the briefcase. Ryota arrives to see Date, who asks Ryota to trust him. After Ryota receives the briefcase, Ryota senses something wrong, and when Ryota uses his radar to signal Himiko, Himiko pops out of the window. Himiko urges Ryota to throw away the briefcase because it's booby-trapped. Then, Date presses the button, and Ryota gets caught in the explosion. Shiki tries to snap Himiko out of it, and she flees with her. Date detonates his BIM, and in the nick of time, Himiko trips where her blunder saved both Shiki and Himiko's lives. Climbing out of the window, Date confronts Shiki from another rooftop. Shiki tosses a cracker BIM at Date after Himiko presses the button. When Date pretends to run away, Shiki gives chase and Date detonates the wall near Shiki. With Shiki falling down, Date walks towards Himiko's location. Himiko finds herself in despair upon reflecting on her struggle to survive without Ryota who is always there for her. As Date throws the cracker BIM at Himiko, the BIM bounces off Himiko's large and ample bosom. Date realizes that he cannot press the button, and when he uses the radar, he sees Ryota alive. Date makes a run for it and lures Ryota near the trap he has set up. He looks at the pile of boards where he has hidden his trap. Once Date presses the button, Ryota informs Date that he has moved the trap. A wall near Date detonates and knocks out Date in the process. Shiki appears and tells them not to dirty their hands since this is her battle. As she puts the sickle close to Date's neck, Date apologizes to Shiki. She swings her sickle only to hit the floor. 
Later, Himeko takes a shower and tells Ryota not to peek since she has him on bodyguard duty. Ryota has an idea and tells Himeko that they should check on the dead bodies for their chips. He states that they could have enough chips to get out of here. Elsewhere in the forest, Ryota checks Mitsuo's body only to find no chip on his hand, and Ryota states that all the chips are gone. On the way back to the observatory point, Ryota hears something and ducks when a homing BIM attacks them. Ryota realizes that Kiyoshi is attacking them. When Himiko protects Ryota, Ryota recognizes that Himiko is indeed the same Himiko from the game from her stance. Himiko uses her radar to find Kiyoshi due to Kiyoshi standing still. Nearby, Kiyoshi unleashes another homing BIM. Ryota is suspicious about Kiyoshi's motives and realizes the target is Himiko. He grabs the homing BIM and deactivates it. Ryota uses his radar and spots Kiyoshi running away. Kiyoshi trips and falls down where the Komodo dragons surround him. He apologizes to Ryota, Himiko, before targeting himself with the homing BIM. Later that night, Ryota cries and mourns Kiyoshi's death. When Himiko hears that Ryota wants to leave the island, she gives Ryota the chips including hers to let him leave the island. She asks Ryota to kill her. Ryota refuses to sacrifice Himiko and acknowledges her as the Himiko avatar from the game. The two grasp hands before kissing. Ryota promises to date her for real when they return home. Elsewhere back on the mainland, several employees from Tirano's Japan leave for the island, when it is said there is mechanical problems on the island. One of the employees silently apologizes to Ryota, saying that it was the best he could do, perhaps a sign that he did something to help Ryota. 